Gaming Bolt presents 15 things you need to know before you buy Neo. What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? A plane? A new Souls game courtesy of From Software? Actually, it's Team Ninja's Neo, a Souls-inspired game taking place during the Sengoku period. This is a game where Western Samurai hacks up yokai, aka demons, while dealing with the war predating the Edo period. There's a whole lot more to this slasher from the House of Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden depending on pronunciation, so what can you expect? Here are 15 things you need to know before buying Neo when it releases on February 7th for PS4 in North America. Free PvP coming post-launch Like Dark Souls and Bloodborne, one can summon the spirits of other players in Neo to aid in battle. What about PvP against said players, potentially invading their worlds and acting all gankish? Team Ninja confirmed that PvP will be added into the game after launch, though whether it's arena-style combat or invasion-style a la Dark Souls remains to be seen. Massacre Difficulty How hard is too hard? Many players who experienced Neo's demos found the game quite challenging, even after the refinements to the camera and movement up to the chances of survival. Unfortunately, the development team isn't stopping there. Director Fumihiko Yasuda said they went out of their way to make sure Neo wasn't easy and even classified its difficulty as Massacore, a combination of masochistic and hardcore meant for the toughest players. Different graphical settings. The graphical settings for Neo intrigued us as soon as they popped up in the initial demo. You have a choice of three modes. Movie mode for a higher resolution with a 30 FPS frame rate. Action mode, which provides a stable 60 FPS and movie mode with variable frame rate which provides a high resolution but with a frame rate that might go over 30 fps ps4 pro modes want an even more graphical bang for your buck neo will support the ps4 pro at launch with its two main settings movie mode and action mode acting differently depending on your display for hd tvs movie mode provides a 1080p resolution at 30 fps with high quality anti-aliasing while Action Mode offers a 1080p resolution and 60fps. Those with 4K displays can take advantage of 2160p resolution at 30fps in Movie Mode, while Action Mode offers a 1080p resolution at 60fps and presumably better visual effects and anti-aliasing. Looting Elements The weapons and armor in Neo aren't straightforward drops. Director Yasuda said the team took inspiration from Diablo 3 and Borderlands for Neo's loot aspects. This means that weapons will have varying attributes upon discovery, thus making it possible to have several different variants on the average sword. Loot will also have different rarities, so prepare to hunt for legendaries and exotics or epics in a whole new universe. Cinematic Story Despite the many Dark Souls comparisons, Neo differs in one key aspect, the presentation of its story. NPCs are voiced and interact with the main character in a number of different cinematics. The storytelling may be straightforward, but it's a nice change from the piece everything together yourself approach of From Software's action RPGs. William Adams and the Western Samurai Did you take one look at William Adams, the protagonist of Neo, and think this was another Tom Cruise Last Samurai situation? As it turns out, Adams is actually based off a real-life sailor by the same name that sailed on an expedition to Japan and became the first English navigator to reach the country in 1600. Not only was Adams an advisor to the Shogun at the time, but was also the first ever Western Samurai. No, he probably didn't fight monsters, but a Western Samurai is still fairly legit. Samurai Depictions even with Neo's supernatural elements, Team Ninja is pretty dedicated to properly depicting the samurai. The development team took inspiration from Kinji Misuma's Lone Wolf and Cub, Akira Kurosawa's Yojimbo, and a number of Japanese period pieces. Again, monsters aren't necessarily part of the realism factor here, but in terms of endearment to fans of samurai cinema, Neo should have you covered. Director's Experience with Dead or Alive and Ninja Gaiden Neo directors Hayashi and Yasuda have quite the experience between them. Hayashi directed and produced the underrated Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword for the DS in 2008, while serving as producer for Dead or Alive 5, Metroid Other M, and Ninja Gaiden 3. Yasuda may be a little less liked since he directed Ninja Gaiden 3 and Razor's Edge, along with serving as series director for Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z. 
As it stands, we're eager to see where Neo goes since it's unlike anything the duo has ever previously worked on. Skill Trees Stances aren't the be-all, end-all to combat. Neo will feature three unique skill trees to customize, leading to different builds as a whole. In an interesting twist, you earn points for these trees with differing actions. For instance, the Samurai Tree, which lets you unlock new melee finishers and attacks, is upgraded by using weapons and special items more. The Ninja Tree, which focuses on projectiles like bombs and shuriken, uses points that are earned by finding special items. Finally, there's the Omnio Tree, which is essentially magic and allows for elemental damage buffs and debuffs for enemies. Transmogrification have you ever found a particularly nice looking piece of armor that has to be discarded because something uglier with better stats emerged? Neo solves this problem by introducing a transmog process called appearance copy. This lets you select different appearances for armor while maintaining the stats you want. Fashion Souls aficionados take note. Real time weapon swapping. Your character in Neo can equip two melee weapons as well as two ranged weapons, and the variety ranges from dual katana, halberds, and bows to rifles and axes. However, he can also swap between these in real time, thus allowing for more combo potential, or just tackling different enemies with the right weapon for the job. With weapons having their own unique properties and skill trees, the opportunities for violence are just so numerous in Neo. Guardian Spirits Remember that Okatsu Kunoichi was showcased with her own rabbit spirit? Those guardian spirits can also be used by the player, allowing for bonuses and other changes to attributes. Furthermore, they enable living weapon mode. Think of it as a rage mode, where William's stamina and health are combined with buffs to damage. It's a huge boost to survivability and adds yet another layer to the complex customization. Kodama. With different kinds of loot, you're going to want some way to boost your chances of getting better drops. That's where the Kadama come in. They're spirits found at shrines that can also boost the drop rate for Amrita, which powers living weapon mode, ammo and healing items along with weapon and armor. Even if you're not about that dank loot, Kadama are especially handy for increasing the number of elixirs that can be carried. Roll of Stamina If you've gotten this far with Neo, then it's because you want a different kinds of souls experience. It's a given that stamina is also present, allowing you to perform different actions. However, unlike in Dark Souls, you can lose stamina if hit. This makes you consider your stances and attacks all the more, while also encouraging the use of Key Burst. This special ability allows you to regain stamina more quickly so you don't worry about avoiding damage at all times. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. 